Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, today we're looking at another really old Stamping Up stamp set and this time we're looking at one called Peace, Love and Cupcakes. Um, it arrived a long time ago and I use the heart and I use the peace symbol um, because I had some friends who were going to a festival and, and wanted all of that on there. I've used the flowers. I didn't use the cupcake so I thought you know what I'll bring them out again and I know that there's lots of cupcake stamp images about so I thought that it might be an idea for me to show you something and then you can copy it with whatever ones you've got so that's what we're using and um, I have put it onto a block and I'm just going to stamp it out in a variety of colours so um, Ignore that piece on there because that's piece we're going to use in a minute. But I just want to get some of these cupcakes out. So just inking it up and I'm just putting it down like that. It's a really nice pink one. Now this pink is Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just going to clean it up in between each one. And then we will have, let's have a bright blue. So we'll have Coastal Cabana, which is a really lovely bright blue. So any sort of turquoisey blue would work. Like that, that's number two. And then I'm just going to do, what should we have for a three? Um, I quite like this um, Wisteria Wonder, which is sort of a bluey, I'm saying a bluey violet, but it's not quite violet. It's um, it's a really rather nice colour. In fact, it is the colour of wisteria. Um, if you've had wisteria in there where it is that really nice sort of blue. So I'm just going to do that one on there. So we've got three different ones on there, which is quite nice. Now, I just clean that one off. I have cut quite a few of them out, but we're going to work with those ones as well. So on this, I wanted to do a background. Now, you can use designer series paper if you've got some, but I thought let's use some of the um, inks we've got. So this is Peekaboo Peach, which is a pinky, um, a purpley colour. And I'm just going to take a blending brush and I have got other colours on here. So it might come up in different colours, but I don't really mind that much. So I'm just going to colour it over here. Now I have put some low tack masking tape just across the bottom, the top and the bottom. It then gives a little bit of difference in there. So if you do that, it will, um, as I said, just give you a border which makes the card very easily look a little bit more professional. Now this is a little bit of crumb cake in on here, which will just tone it down a little bit like that. And then I'm going to take this blue. So this is the Coastal Cabana and you might think, oh, blues and uh, it's going to look muddy. Um, if you just take it in on some of the pieces in here can you see where we're just taking it through and then it doesn't the idea is to give a bit of a marbled sort of effect so if you just bring it across you get all of these different color tones going on and that gives you quite a nice background so let me just take the masking tape off and you've got a nice framework in here so I can take this off now because I've done I've done a few of them so we can get a few ideas but can you see how that's given you a really lovely sort of marbled effect so very easy taking it through to give you a border I am just taking a ruler and then I'm taking a black marker now I use Posca pens as you know but you can use any form of black marker that you've got. You need a really good rule um, because if you've got a ruler that um, smudges, 
then you're not going to get it round. Um, it's not going to give a nice clean line. So you want to try and do it to give it as nice a clean a line as you can. And this saves doing matting. So this is a way of doing quick and easy cards where you're not using a lot of product. Um, you know, sometimes you can use everything you've got and throw it up there. But other times you don't want to... I don't know why that's not going on there. Other times you don't really want to... Oops. My next door neighbour's dog's going out. It must be exactly that time. It's a very hot day today, so I think he's home from work a bit earlier. And uh, he always has a bit of a bark. So, right, I'm just going to clean this off. Now, I'm using the Stamping Mist, which I've had for ages because it never runs out. And it actually takes most of the marks and things off. A little bit of washing up liquid as well will help if you've got a, a board, but I always have some uh, um, kitchen roll. Okay, so that's one background. Now I'm going to just take, I've put some of these on here, but I'm going to show you the other two backgrounds. Now that's quite interesting. This one was just the Coastal Cabana and um, Crumb Cake. And this one was Flirty Flamingo and a little bit of Pool Party. So you can see different colour backgrounds. That's got a little bit of orange in, that's got more brown, but it gives you something to work with. So let's start with this one, shall we? And I have cut the cupcakes out. So I want to do three different colours like this. And I quite fancy doing those three. I think those three will work quite nicely, won't they? Okay, so what we can do is, let me just put my specs on, um, we can take these and we can very simply just cut these across the, um, I think it will come off across here will be better. So I'm just cutting it across the, um, the actual case over the frosting. So we can put one down there. And I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So I'm just taking it straight across on here. And I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. And then we can do a little bit of mix and match. So if we have these along the bottom and we can take this one on here we can take this one on there and we can take this one on here so you then have a different look to the card okay so you've got a mix and match on there um, this one I would probably do them exactly as they were so I quite like um, this one I've done pink and orange and a yellow like that so again you've got three different ideas on there and then I'm just going to do I think one of these because I think let me just put my specs on so I can see what I'm doing um, now obviously put sentiments and things on there but um, excuse my dog barking you know when you've been around a long time she is uh, She's quite hysterical how if the neighbour's dog goes out for a walk, she has to bark. And um, normally she stops after a little while, so hopefully I don't have to go and shout at her. But um, you know what they're like, they have minds of their own sometimes. Okay, so this one, I think I'm going to have the pink at the bottom. So we'll take this one off here like this. Okay, and I'm going to put it this way up. So this is going to be the clean and simple. So that's going to go on the bottom. But then I'm going to take some of these into strips. So I don't want that one. But I can use it for another one. And I'm just going to take the top part of these ones so I would cut the whole thing out, but to save time, 
I just want to just take these to about here so we don't want this one do we so I'm just taking that across there and we've got this one and then this one I'm just literally going to take like a middle layer on this one And this you can then have, you can do it as a rainbow, you can do it as whatever you want, but just sort of take your, let's take that a minute. So we've got, that's about three up, isn't it? Let's take this one. Um, that's going to be the bottom one. So let's just take this one on here. And I'm just taking it across like that so way there's always one that falls on the floor isn't it right that one's gone on the floor <laughs> we'll have to use another one because it's too small for me to see um what was the i think you're going to guess what i get get the idea of it or the gist of it because i've actually i don't know what i've done with the other one in and here we've got a purple bit We've got a, we should have more of the pink bit, shouldn't we? Um, I think I've dropped the other purple bit on the floor, so that's not going to go very well. But if we just take this off like this, so as I say, you'd spend a bit more time than me in doing this. But if you take these up like this, can you see you're going to start to get quite a nice sort of rainbow look to it. So um, let's have another layer of pink, which would be this one here, which I think is probably about here, like that. Maybe that one's down that way, actually, isn't it? Let's do it that way around. That goes there, that goes there. And then we can have a little one just right on the top and I can have this one. The other bit that's fallen on the floor I will find. But just to give you the gist of it, you can take this one and put this one at the top. So you've then got another. And as I say, I would have this is the same colour, so it's not perfect. But just put that in like that. Bring that all down. And you've got a really nice sort of rainbow coloured one. So lots of different ideas. You can then put whatever you want. So as I said, I don't tend to put sentiments on because happy birthday, friends, whatever. I put them when I'm ready to send them. But a simple, easy idea using the cupcakes, sorry, peace, love and cupcakes. And I'm sure you've got cupcake ones and they make great cards. So thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.